Let's open up the Vault Dashboard by going to Tools, Clevers, Vault Dashboard. There's currently no data entities or types that are valid for it to display. So we're going to have to create some new content. Let's create a new script and call it Character Data. The only thing necessary for Vault to recognize this file is to change it from a mono behavior to a data entity. When the file is saved, we can see in Vault that the type is now visible and we can create scriptable object instances that are automatically loaded into our database. Let's add some information inside this script that will make it more useful to have in our database. We'll also override the reset value and define the default title and description for the instances. Now let's create a character weapon so that we can reference this from within. We'll make it also a data entity so that the database can see it, and we'll populate it with relevant information that might be useful for gameplay. Now we have two types available, and we can freely create instances of them, which are stored within our database. We can change their properties, all of their values, and we can reference them from other data entity types. For instance, character data, we might want a field here to indicate that this character is using a specific character weapon. So let's create a field for it, and then use the asset dropdown attribute to find the type and then when we return to the Vault dashboard, we can see a drop-down conveniently placed that shows us all of the possible objects available of that type. This makes it very easy to navigate nested types, create new versions of necessary fields, or edit the specific objects in those fields.